In this video, we're going to add the real time functionality for the like button in the Twitter clone. So if we go into our browser here, or actually so into our editor, and in here we will go into tweet actions. And in here, given we are only really needing to switch between a like and a unlike icon, I don't think we need to have any extra things in here. So if we go in, we should just be able to essentially add the relevant things in here. So to start out with, we want to go ahead inside our treat actions. And in here, we should create a function in here called the function like. And inside this like function, we want to essentially, first and foremost, check if the user has liked the tweet. So if we go into our tweet model, In here, we need to check first and foremost whether someone has liked something. We also need to create the likes table. So if we go in here, you can see that we currently have not created a likes table and a like model. So inside I'll create likes table. We want to just have some foreign IDs. That's all we need in there. So in here, we just want to have two foreign IDs, one for the user and one for the tweet. So let's go ahead and migrate this now. And then in here, let's go ahead and create a relationship to this. And then we want to be able to check if someone has liked or not liked it as well because otherwise we are going to be a bit clueless, but we want to do that in the user model instead. So inside the user model, we should be able to then check if someone has liked, took a like, and so on. So let's go ahead and say public function likes has many. In this case, we just want to go in and return. This has many like class. Then we also want to go ahead and have a public function in here called has liked. In this case, we want to return a boolean and we want to just say if it contains the tweet ID. And then inside here, what we should be able to then say is if the user has liked the tweet, we return nothing. Because we want to have a dislike function and we don't want it to accidentally misrepresent or anything like that. So if someone clicks really fast, we don't want them to accidentally like it twice. That would be a bit of a problem. Then we want to go ahead and create a like for the user. We then want to go ahead and broadcast it here. So I'm going to go ahead and broadcast it here. And then we also want to go ahead later on and notify the user when we have set up our dash notification system. But first and foremost, for the essential just showing that it's liked, we just want to create a new event here. And that's just tweets likes update, which is essentially just our ability to then go up and add in the likes here. So inside treat likes updated, we just need to have it roughly around like this. And this will then allow us to listen for these changes. We also want to go ahead and create, just like we did before, create a likes count. The same we did for the retweets count. And we want to dispatch an update here when it's updated. And in this case, we can do it up here where we say protected listeners and treat update. So that should be fine there.
Perfect. So let's go ahead inside our tweet action now. And in here, make sure we can now update it upon clicking the like button. So for now, we're just doing it for the like button. In the next video, we're going to do the dislike functionality. So we would just say like. And we just want to go in here now and say this get likes. And in this case in here, we need to make sure we're also doing it for the correct one here. So I think we currently in here we are on the comment section so it's gonna be here we're gonna have to move this up a bit and we also want to just do it on the diff here instead and let's add this after the diff here Actually, no, we will keep it on the other side. And we need to just go into our like model. There we go. So the only other thing I want to go ahead and do now is essentially use the icon that we want to use for when it isn't liked instead of using the wrong one here so right now we're using this icon instead and when it's liked we're gonna have the other one we had so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching it in the next video we will set up the dislike uh, or not the dislike but removing the like functionality please hit the like and the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video